Okay, so this video is uh, a tutorial on how I did my invoice and receipt uh, documents for uh, Home Inspector Pro. Um, I guess we'll start out by opening up Home Inspector Pro. And uh, as you can see, I just entered some information in here. John Q. Public, Mr. and Mrs. Sample inspection address blah blah, blah. Uh, and I got an inspection fee also listed in here but uh, the first thing I did um, if you notice up here in the tabs is I uh, created two tabs or two um, categories one inspection invoice and one inspection receipt because as everybody knows an invoice is a bill and a receipt is a confirmation of payment so I wanted to have the option uh, for some of my clients that I have to bill and I sent them the the, the uh, inspection report with the invoice right in it and they have it they can print it out make a checkout and mail it to me and the other ones that pay me on site that's the ones I use the receipt for if they pay cash they pay check etc and I did that uh, obviously in the edit template section. Um, if you scroll down, I created a uh, a new category called invoice, and then um, inspection invoice right here, and uh, inspection receipt is there. And uh, so I added those two sections, and uh, in each one, as you can see, there's customer invoice. And uh, and that one it's also called uh, customer invoice as well. It doesn't really matter. But uh, uh, I I created one damage panel per document. So if, as you can see for the invoice, um, I named the tab name customer invoice, and then the damage panel name was terms. Uh, my terms are due upon receipt. That's that's my terms. Uh, so cancel that and inspection receipt I did the same thing I just created one damage panel and uh, my tab name was inspection receipt and the damage panel name was payment and that's actually for payment type check cash credit card etc so we'll go in and uh, and let's see what um, as you can see uh, this is my damage panel. You can see terms. And uh, I have just one option, and that's due upon receipt. Now, you can add however many options that you want. And this is for the invoice section only. And uh, I'll show you how all that comes together. For the inspection receipt, um, as you can see, my uh, damage panel name is payment. And then um, like you got options pay by check pay by credit card paid cash and in full and I got the item separator as a bullet so that um, when you say paid cash and in full and you and you select them in the black over here paid cash and in full it'll come out side by side instead of separate line items now um, down here in the description text I have payment type uh, in the invoice, as you can see, the description text was terms. That's the way I have it listed on mine. You can customize yours however you see fit. So after I had that created, I, uh, I had to create a document. And that's so I could import all the information from the uh, report itself. Um, using the uh, variables now uh, home inspector pro has and their message board has a list of variables that you can use uh, to automatically import all the uh, all the variables that you need um, you can go into edit documents and as you can see here now I've got this set I've got one file name called invoice and uh, for the invoice, I have it set 
um, to be included before section and of course I got it before section inspection invoice and I also it's important to check mark this checkbox to include document on same page as the section so this is important so it all shows up on the same page as those those two categories that you created earlier in the template so anyways um, if you're a lot like me I was having major difficulty uh, trying to um, format the documents to come out looking um, like I wanted it to uh, now this this document uh, editor um, uses HTML and then converts it over to PDF and so it can scramble it a bit so the easiest thing to do is to format it in HTML language and there is a hidden button if uh, as people have alluded to and it's over to the right of your uh, font size and as you can see you can see the the shadow appears and you can see it says source um, right underneath it and you click on that and that actually is the HTML now not a lot of people are familiar with or know how to uh, write their own HTML language well fortunately the web is full of help uh, on that so I just uh, uh, went to a website and um, the name of it is html-online.com slash editor and uh, it is extremely helpful as you create your document over here it will write your HTML over here see uh, um, using the the editor uh, let's say you have word or or Oh, some some other program that you're using and you try to copy it and paste it into uh, home inspector Pro uh, it will not come out anywhere close to looking like what you had hoped it will actually jam all the words together all the sections together and and you'll, you'll be pulling your hair out and this actually um, creates the HTML that you can copy over to hip um, before we get into this I just want to go back to to the home inspector pro and um, and we'll go back to the to the screen now these are the variables that I was talking about now in the message board there is a, a sticky I guess they call it at the top of the message board on one of the categories and it says list of variable master list of variables I believe is the title um, actually I might even have it here yeah master list of variables is what it is and um, let's go down here to page one. And kudos to David Macy who uh, who created this list. Um, but this is a comprehensive list, and as you can see, these this is how you can pull variables into your documents: client fax number. Um, inspection fee company name etc 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 whatever you need and it's basically self descriptive client first name client two first name etc etc so this is a great list um, and again this is on the master uh, this is uh, the master list for variables it's in home inspector crow mobile questions on the message board so that's the section it's in um, so let's go back and for me um, the first thing I wanted and you know I could have wrote this in myself because this is never going to change and obviously variables means it varies it vary everything it varies each report you do um, so I could have just typed in my company name B big deal um, but just my address my phone number blah 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 um, date inspection inspection date that's the variable for inspection date so that changes obviously every time uh, I got invoice for client name one client name two that's John Smith and Joan Smith obviously uh, and if there is no client name two it will not print out anything it will be blank it won't even show it so you no need to worry uh, invoice amount this is the uh, inspection fee um, 
now so a lot of us obviously do radon and i'm sure that you could you could add a line item for radon however home inspector pro does not have a uh, a variable for radon fees so you're gonna have to um you maybe you can put that in on um in your damage panel if you want uh for the property located at and then here's another variable client inspection address client inspection city client inspection state client inspection zip make checks payable to and then i have again my company name my address boom that's it all right uh that's the invoice one uh the receipt is here uh let's go down to receipt i created one of those as well uh receipt is a little different uh obviously i got my company so that's the same information inspection date remains the same but uh for receipt i got received from right here uh instead because this is who i received it from inspection fee total and the property's uh, location so all the variables for this and of course my damage panels will come out accordingly now uh, now again we'll go back to um, whoops to this uh, HTML dash online dot com um, HTML editor now you can create your document over here like I said and it will write all the HTML so you can, you can come over here you copy the, the entire code and then go back to home inspector pro and you will see for this one let's see um, yeah this is uh, this is my invoice one so I'm just gonna be careful here so I'm, so I'm not gonna actually uh, paste it but you want to go over here to your source code and this is this is where you're, 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 you would paste that code in. And if there's any information in here, you either want to delete it or just highlight it all and then just click the paste button and it will paste the new code and then just go back and it will, it will um, show up uh, formatted to the way you want your document to look. Um, and again, I went, uh, I went in just for a test, and uh, you know, I just entered some variables. Obviously, JQP is John Q Public, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, 123 Sample Street, blah blah blah. Um, and then I inserted an inspection uh, fee, and then obviously this is the date of inspection right here. So we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna generate a report, and as you can see, I've got. Um, the section there's the inspection receipt and there's the inspection invoice and I check marked them both now obviously when when you do this you're gonna do either or um, and I've been playing around actually with my headers so I'm, I'm trying to get a, a header that looks good with my uh, with my report so that uh, it comes out looking fairly professional so um, we've got those two check marked that's the only two that we need Close that, uh, test PDF. That's what I'm gonna name this. And click save. And it'll generate the report. Report generated successfully. All right, and if anybody can figure out how to not have this thing hit at 152%, I'd be grateful if somebody would tell me what it is but anyways uh, I had already inserted a, a photo so it so it looks good but uh, here is uh, the inspection receipt and how that looks it's just a simple document that's all it is uh, it has all the information from the document we inserted and then this is the information from the damage whoop damage panel that we uh, that we installed uh, Payment, payment type, paid, cash, and in full. Easy peasy, Japanesey. Um, and this is the inspection invoice. Again, 
uh, simple. There's, you know, it doesn't need to be complicated. Doesn't need to be fancy. All it needs to do is provide the task that it was intended to do. Uh, company, it's got all that information. I see. I, uh, I need to bump this uh, over one character so that it lines up. But other than that, looks good. Date, uh, obviously imported from um, today's date. Invoice for Mr. and Mrs. John Q. Public. So that's right. Invoice amount 340. Blah blah blah. Uh, make checks payable to, and that's my uh, company and my address. Uh, and then, um, obviously, because this is an invoice, here are my terms. Terms, due upon receipt. Easy. Uh, they have my address. They have the invoice amount, 340, and the terms. Uh, that's it. And, uh, and this will be attached, and you can put this at the beginning of your report, the end of the report, however you see fit. But... Uh, if you have any questions, you can shoot me uh, an email at kevininspects at gmail.com, and I'd be happy to uh, help. I'm just like a lot of you. I'm fairly new to, uh, to Home Inspector Pro, so I'm still learning my way around. Um, one of the things I learned today, actually, is that you can't integrate, if you create new, new tabs, you can't integrate an old inspection report into it, so... I called support to ask them how to do that, and they said you can't. So learn something new every day. Um, I you can put a logo in here. There is a, a a way to put a logo in. I had one in there for a second. All of a sudden, it disappeared, and I was having problems getting it back. So I just left it out. To heck with it. It's better than pulling my hair out. Um, so, anyways, that's it. Thanks.